Wars A New Hope features one of the most famous bars in the galaxy, one that was filled with aliens, pirates, smugglers, and hiding Jedi. It was simply the place to be. So much action and important story events happened there that it's no wonder Kenner made sure to produce a cantina for kids at home. In 1979, toy stores everywhere saw the release of the Creature Cantina action playset. However, this was the second cantina playset that Kenner had created for the Star Wars toy line. The first being the Cantina Adventure playset first released in 1978, which was made of cardboard and came with the now infamous blue Snaggletooth figure. Package in a box which shows a kid with mustard colored sweater on it playing with the playset. It has an orangish red and black color scheme with the classic Star Wars racetrack logo on it which surrounds the playset in the middle. Really iconic marketing from Kenner. Can't say that their designs were ever forgettable. It's just not possible. The difference between the two playsets is that the Creature Cantina action playset actually looks like a cantina. It does resemble the bar from the movie. For starters, it's actually an indoor playset. The earlier version was more of a cardboard backdrop for the outside of the cantina on the streets of Mos Eisley. The base of the Creature Cantina playset was molded out of orange colored plastic and featured three levels for action figures to stand on. There are foot pegs in various positions throughout the base with plenty of room for a full bar of your favorite scum and villainy. Attached to the back of the orange base is a removable cardboard backdrop that slips into a slot along the back. Awesome 70s artwork has been hand-drawn for the backdrop which depicts various aliens and bar patrons along with the famous Biff Cantina band members that could be seen in the most sizely cantina. A nice visual which fleshes out the cantina scene a little better without crowding the playing field for your action figures. The base itself has two action levers which allow you to simulate fights between characters in the cantina. By pushing the lever to the side, an action figure like, say, Walrus Man can get knocked down by Ben Kenobi over by the bar. Once you press the lever to the side, it activates the plastic mechanism below the base to spring the action pad upwards. And the other lever on the other right side of the bar allows the shootout between Han Solo and Greedo to take place. The little plastic table fits nicely in front of the band, and I always position my Han and Greedo at opposing ends, guns drawn like so. Pushing the lever to the side will certainly knock Greedo to his knees after Han shoots him, which he most certainly did. And to clarify for the judge and jury, Han shot first. Period. The bar and the little table are pretty simple yet effective at establishing a place for your scoundrels to hang out at. To the left of the bar is a pair of swinging doors that spring open when you press the button on the base of the playset. Sadly, mine does not work, so I can't show you, but it does have a nice Western feel to it. I think that's what Kenner was trying to go for. I think they did achieve it. This playset really has it all for what it is. A huge step up from being made of all cardboard. The Creature Cantina action playset really gave kids a chance to recreate one of the most memorable scenes in the original Star Wars movie. I think that's what kids love doing most with their Star Wars toys in general before they go on to dream up brand new adventures. There's plenty of fun to be had in this 1979 Vintage Kenner playset. This is where my cantina currently resides, sitting on the top shelf in one of my A New Hope Detolfs. This was one of the first pieces that I got from my collection and one I display proudly. I have filled my cantina with the appropriate characters and always display them as such. Dramatic overhead lighting such as this always makes for great photos, which you may have seen on my Instagram account at the GQ Jedi. I love this playset. I think it's really awesome. Very simple, but it does the job and then some. You can fit quite a few figures on it with no issues and there's lots of playability. Kenner managed to hit a home run with the Creature Cantina action playset. I'm fond of it and I really can't imagine my collection without it.